Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, this design is a cool design that I've been making for already probably four years or more and it's great because I live in Wyoming and in this area we have lots of bisons you know and those are really um very um well it's i think the symbol of our flag right in wyoming it had the bison so um but you can you do it you know it can also look like a buffalo so let's do this uh, you will need you know kind of like mm, a lot of balloons yeah but most of them are scraps the ones that you will need the, mo the most is going to be these ones so what is all this different type of browns it's good you know you play with those different type of browns so let's just start with this part that is going to be for me the main color of my bison so it's going to be the body and you're going to inflate it leaving like boom six finger tail okay so this is what we're going to do from here we're going to attach what is going to be the mouth hmm. so that's why we're going to need a scrap just a little bit of a blush 350 so you're going to measure here like a four finger bubble or five and we're gonna just make it into a pinch twist so that's what i'm doing you know? so when you have that that's it you don't need you don't need more so you can tie it you can cut it leave some space here so you can attach it to this part okay so that's what we're gonna do right now when you have that you're gonna measure like probably five finger bubble and then you're gonna make a pinch twist and now you're gonna go again and go back to this part with the whole thing about it too okay, four or five finger bubble that part and now you can make a here like a little pinch twist so it's gonna hold you know the mouth yes here you go So that, and it's optional so you have this you see a little pinch twist and from here you're going to measure if this bubble is five finger bubble so this one make it like three and a half finger bubble you know and then twist it and then go back down with like two finger bubble and connect it all the way down and that's all okay so when you have that we're gonna go and make um, a little bit of the neck, yeah? Let's see. You, you can or you don't have to, actually. So in this way, I'm gonna just actually pass it through this lab because the, the front legs, I'm gonna make it with the mocha brown, okay? So from here, better we measure the rest of the body's gonna be five finger bubble or six. That's gonna be the body, the back. I'm gonna make here a little pinch twist and you're gonna measure here maybe four finger bubble and another four finger bubble okay so if it's getting tight you can always make a little hole here very very little so then the air start losing very slow so you have enough time to twist the, the other leg and twist it around around a couple times so you have this look it doesn't look like a bison but it's gonna be a bison in a moment <laughs> so then this pinch twist you decide how you want it i like to keep it down so look i'm putting this this way so it's gonna kind of look in high depends how you want if you want your bison to be looking you know high or down is where you're gonna connect this little pinch twist and if you don't want any you know to look straight well you don't better don't do the pinch twist okay now we're gonna grab this balloon that is gonna be uh like this you see just gonna make a loop like that so how long is this loop let me see i'm gonna tell you it's right there where it's my finger so it's like four let me see i'm gonna count it so maybe we can say one two three four and five five hands and that's the loop okay
okay? So the idea is we're gonna put it right here. Mm -hmm. And we close this. And that's what we're gonna do. So we lock that and we cut. Okay? Now, you have that. We're going to make the shoes. That's another thing that we can start doing. And you're gonna need a balloon scrap of a 260 balloon. So what I do, you know, for the shoes, the sh it's like a shoe horse. It's, um, you measure three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, twist it together and make a double pinch twist. That's practically what you're doing. And you have to do this twice for the front legs and the back legs. So you have this and you connect it right there. And another two things that I find about this design is like, for example, I had very crazy requests here in Wyoming. <laughs> and there was here the, the one, for example, a rainbow, a rainbow bison or a rainbow buffalo. And so you, you can see that picture, you see? And it made it at a party. But then other times it's just regular with colors. So these kind of are the colors for bisons, I think. Now you have to do this one more time. And for the other shoes. And you will still have um, to use some more of the 260 black for the eyeballs. Okay? So you cut. Don't get rid of this yet. Just leave. Because you will need some eyeballs. Or the pupils. Or the, the black part of the eyes. <laughs> Now you pass it to here. So, there you go. Now, what else is, is gonna happen here? Well, the bison's another thing that it has, you know, characteristic, it's um, the hair, you know, it's coming lots of hair on top. So that's what we're gonna do this, that is that chocolate brown. And you just have to attach it right here. We're gonna go and make a couple bubbles. So, for example, I'm gonna start here making a pinch twist. And this one little 216 mocha uh, or a dark color, you know, so you just have to play with that. You can make the hair darker. So if you are making a rainbow bison, you can make, you know, dark blue, dark purple. Okay, and this one it's inflated eight finger or ten finger tail because we're gonna make a lot of little bubbles. So we start with a pinch twist and then we're going all the way with like one, two, three bubbles. So pinch twist, three bubbles and connect it all the way to this part. So that's why uh, maybe you could make the front legs later at the end. But you have to connect it right there. So you go, go around and you have to do this again. So from here, you again go with bubbles. Maybe you can make more bubbles, you know, but the bubbles are like no more than two finger bubbles. So I'm making again three finger bubbles and pass it through there. For the pinch twist, another three finger bubbles. You see, three finger bubbles and then go back to the neck. make more bubbles because I like you know more hair there <laughs> so I'm gonna go with more bubbles so one two three and connect it all the way right here and to the pinch twist and one more time we can we have enough balloon to go one two three and that will be good enough you go back to the neck and twist it so now you just have to cut and I always use my teeth but in this time of coronavirus better don't put balloons on your mouth <laughs> so uh, use a coated ring and be very careful yes I'm gonna show you a video like you can see it right now right there you see I'm not really using my um uh, my you know like the coated ring I have this it's a coated ring but I don't use it on my finger my, you see because I know I happened before and I learned you can by accident cut your hair and it looks really bad. So, so for me, it's better to put it on my agenda. 
But another thing about that agenda that I feel is super uh, sad, yeah, we can say that, that it stopped working and it stopped like the battery lasting less than it usually, you know, I was so excited that, oh yeah, my agenda lasts for seven hours, you know, using it with not a stop. Now it's like one gig that is two hours, you know, and that's it, dead. And I was like, what? And I think I had to buy another one but I don't know when, because we don't have really many events, at least me, it's not like it used to be. I don't go to parties, you know, often. So I had to save, I had to save. So I'm using right now my cutter and I cut it, I'm cutting this, you see? I'm cutting this and phew, take and pass it around. You can tie them and then pass it around. Make sure you go and not and twist them, thinking that, oh, you are twisting it. So, there you go. You have that. And look how cute it's looking. And look, people already can notice. Oh, start to buy some? Yeah, right? <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> okay, so now here, I'm just thinking, you decide. You can make the legs separate like this, or you can put it all together. You decide what is cuter. I try both, both work okay. This time it's like this. Now, from here, because it's not other, we think, oh, it's other. We can start, for example, this one. It's just a balloon scrap, and we're gonna make these bubbles, like fit in the bubble, make it into a pinch twist, slip some um, space here, you know, some space, squish the air, Make another three finger bubble and cut. Now you tie and you have these. These are gonna be eyeballs. So we're gonna pass it through here. You see? Bing. We're gonna pass it. Okay. And that's what I'm doing. And now if you don't wanna use a sharpie, you can just grab the scrap of a black 160 to 60 because you're gonna just make a one finger bubble, very little. Pinch twist, so it's gonna be the same idea. You squish some the air out from here, and another one finger bubble, very little, and cut and make this another pinch twist. This technique, it's a really cool one. I like it because you always can pre-make this, keep it in a bag, and you have a lot of eyeballs or different things. It can be for different things, you know. So if you check out my videos, I use this technique a lot. Okay, now you pass it again for the same place you put the white balloon. Now you're gonna go with the black. And it keeps them uh, more active, right? More active to this cute animal. So cute. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's like looking there. It's like looking at his mouth. But it looks awesome. I like it. I like it. Now here, you can always cut that part. And that's why, if you really make this, you don't have to use a 160 balloon to cover this around. But I make here the little pinch twist, remember? So, but in case you don't do that little pinch twist, you later can grab just a little, uh, two pinch little bubbles here, two pinch twist, and pass this around, you see? And it's optional. In my case, I'm doing it just so you can see. It's, uh, it can look good. And you can close this, but because I made the pinch twist, I'm just gonna show you. You see, that's kind of will look. So you decide if you want it or not, okay? In my case right now, I don't think it's necessary. I think I, I, I should leave it like this. Okay, now we have, uh, if you have any little piece of this um, mocha, chocolate brown, you just, um, because I remember I have it, but it's brown. Hmm. Oh, I deflated it, right? And I hide it there. Because we're going to need a little bit of from here. You will have a leftover just for the tail. But, of course, I forgot. So I have to grab one of my balloon scrap and look for that color. But for sh probably I will not have it. I have it in a new bag. But look, it's going to take forever. Okay. Now look, you just blow a little 160 balloon because these two animals have a very cute um, shell like this. So you can just, you, you can do something like this and that's gonna be the tail. Hmm? Yeah, look, just something like this, why not? And then this part, a little bit down, so it's gonna have something like that. So that can be just a tail.
himself. Okay, you can make him more elaborate if you want. <laughs> it looks like he's popping. <laughs> oh, well, and horns, very important. A scrap of 160, and we're just gonna add the horns. How? Look, I just bend it. If this is like a four finger bubble, you bend it in half, pinch twist, and that's it. You can make another pinch twist if you want, cut it, leave some space here. And I'm gonna do the same, and the, it's better if it's the same size. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna leave this here, and with this, we connect it right in the back, right here. You see, there is like the one, two pinch, uh, bubbles here. You're gonna connect them there, you know, because they have to be looking in the sides. It seems to look better. So you just pass it around, tie it, and love them. The pinch twist is gonna help you to kind of make sure it's looking, um, you know, you decide where to have to, you wanna um, connect it, but the pinch twist is gonna help you with the shapes. You see, just like that, one little form. And the same, we're gonna do this, four finger bubble first, pinch twist and then we're going to bend this for four finger bubble so again it's going to be a pinch twist here the first bubble okay i'm gonna lock them oh my goodness i always find that time inappropriate to make balloon <laughs> tutorials because everybody right now is eating and i know they're waiting for me it's like oh my goodness okay now here i have this and now i bend it and you have better. and with this you know if you have longer better but you again go and find the other side it's gonna be this one and attach it and there you go it's a it's a cool design because it doesn't really take much time people uh your friends are gonna recognize oh yeah it's a bison but the other cool thing is you don't need much sharpie and because we are already the eyes are done, you don't need much sharpie. And you can have it right there. There you go. So only here is gonna be for the nose, the nozzles, right? The what did you call this? Uh, inside <laughs> the holes. <laughs> and then the smiley face. So for that, yeah, I'm gonna use black sharpie. And I'm gonna make it. You know, this is a tam nose, and then here on the bottom. Oh, that's my dog, my dog hair. Okay, name a smiley face, and you can also make some cheeks if you want to the side to make it cuter. But there you go. Look, this is, I think, a very cute uh, design. Tell me in the comments what do you think. I'm sure you can make it better. You can always make it better. You can make more light layers here. But this is the one I'm making. It's all can be a bull, right? But it's a bison, okay? <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget, you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So you go, um, Go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.